Back in February, two companies at the Hemp Fest Cannabis Expo here at the RBC Convention Center were hit with fines for illegal cannabis sales. These were the first fines for illegal sales issued by Manitoba's cannabis regulator. One of the companies fined was the Manitoba-based Medman brand. Volunteers with Medman had set up a booth at Hemp Fest in Winnipeg on February 23rd. That's when inspectors from the Liquor, Gaming and Cannabis Authority came and accused them of illegally selling products containing THC, the main active chemical in marijuana. Inspectors seized more than a kilogram of loose cannabis flour, thousands of edibles and other products worth an estimated $34,000. Medman President and CEO Thaddeus Conrad received a fine of $2,542. He insists he and about 20 volunteers all had medical licenses allowing them to possess cannabis products, but he says the inspectors ignored him. Who is regulating the LGCA? And why are they allowed to operate without any authority regulating them? And why are they allowed to make medical marijuana patients' lives miserable while trying to gain a profit from, from ticketing them? At a court hearing last week, the Crown dropped the fine against Medman but refused to return the products to Conrad. If Conrad wants his products back, the Justice of the Peace said he and all his volunteers will have to show proof they had licenses. He calls the seizure illegal because the LGCA doesn't regulate medical cannabis. I think that the LGCA has no idea what's going on at all. I don't think they received any proper training. Uh, if they can't even, if they don't even know what jurisdiction they're operating under. The LGCA wouldn't comment on Conrad's case. In an email statement, a spokesperson said, Inspectors have the authority to issue offense notices and seize illegal product under the Act. Conrad has another hearing set for later this month. Cameron McLean, CBC News, Winnipeg. Essentially a receipt for all the stuff they took is all in there. So...